Okay, so here's something a little different that we're doing on the channel for the first time. It's not the something different that I said I was going to do before, but it is something different. If you ever had uh, songs where uh, either you can't remember any of the lyrics, so you can't Google search it to find out the song title or the artist who does it, or you can remember the lyrics, but Google searching turns up nothing because it's an underground artist. So far I've had three songs like that where I haven't been able to find them. And two of them was because the DJ never said the song name or the artist. And in one case, I didn't hear a DJ talking, and that's the one I'm going to play now. It's also the one that's most likely to generate a hit because where I heard it was um, in the middle of an, I think it was an Anchor Blue store or some sort of store. And I also heard it several times in some Fox or FX TV series trailers. So, if it was able to make those big outlets, chances are it's in the big leagues, and my not being able to remember any of the lyrics is probably the only reason why I can't find it. Anyways, the only part that I'm certain was in the song, and since uh, I remember the least amount of information for this one, so we're just going to do this live through guitar riffs, is this lead part, which I think was at the beginning and uh, after every single chorus. That went something like this. That's the only part that I remember for sure was there. I also remember a riff that may have been the chorus riff, and I don't know if this is right or if this was in there, but that goes something like this. As that's ringing out, the uh, lead part that I played at the beginning also plays over that. I can't really play lead and rhythm at the same time unless I had a looping box, which I don't. So, you just have to imagine that there. And yes, I played two bars of that. I repeated two bars and screwed up the second one a little bit. It's a little late, and that guitar amp is actually at pretty low volume, but my iPhone's pretty close to it, so... <laughs> may sound a little louder. Now here's the really tricky part. There may or may not have been a guitar solo in there. There may or may not have been. And even so, I don't remember exactly what it sounds like because it's been a while, but... And I tried to play what I heard in my head and I could only get the very first part right and I sort of had to ad-lib the rest of it and that's sort of what I'm going to do here again. So, uh... And I'm already not the fastest or the most technical shredder, but I can shred. So... Here's that guitar solo from memory, after not having heard it for years. By ear, by memory. All right. <laughs> those second attempts at playing that. Anyways, uh, anybody know who does that song? It's sort of been driving me a little nuts on that one. You can feel free to leave a comment on the uh, comment section, and by the way, I'm pretty sure the song was tuned to drop C, but none of my guitars are tuned to drop C, so I just used my 7-string and open A, which has most of the strings the same except for the uh, low string. 
the or it would be the second lowest string actually, which is at D right now. If it were in the drop C, that would be dro dropped down a whole step to C. But it's not, and the string below that's an A. Anyways, uh, that is it. So, uh, thanks for watching.